Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphenate here. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to use the quick start mode on the iFootage Shark Slider Nano. Now, if this is your first time using the slider, you wanna make sure to watch my other video that shows you how to set up the slider and get it ready for use. So now I'm gonna assume that you have everything ready and we're gonna go into the quick start mode. So go ahead on the home screen, click on quick start. Now here you'll see that there's an A and there's a B. So you can have an A point and a B point. And then here underneath that, you see time that we'll go into in a bit, but you can choose the duration of your movement. And then on the bottom left corner, there is an A to B with arrow. Now this allows you to switch which point you wanna start from. Next to that, you have a loop button. And then next to that, you have the origin button. Now the origin button is going to take you to the first point that you wanna start with. So it's either gonna be A, or if you have this button selected for the A, B with the arrow, then it's gonna take you to point B. So now let me show you how simple it is to get this going. In order to select A and B points, you're gonna click the power button and the FN button at the same time once. And when you do, you'll see A and B start to flash. Now at this point, now you can manually move where you want the actual first point to be. So you can move it sideways as well as move the pan axis. So let's say I wanna start here. Once I have it in position, I go ahead and press the A button. Now I'm going to change my location and let's say I want it to stop here. Go ahead and click the B button. Now again, because you're able to move it manually, you're able to actually look at your screen on your camera to make sure that you're getting the shot that you want, starting and ending point. And then at the top, you'll actually see where the A and B points are in regards to the actual distance of the slider. Now here under time, you can actually choose how long it takes for that movement to happen. So we're actually gonna make it pretty quick. Let's put three seconds. Now you can choose between time or speed. I like to go by time. And with time, you can have hour, minute, and seconds. So we're gonna try to do a three second movement. We're gonna go back now that we have the time selected. We have our A and B points set, we have our time set. Now again, if I wanted to start from point B, then I would select this button here. But I don't wanna do that, I wanna start from point A, so I'm gonna click it one more time. And now let's say we know that we wanna have this loop. So we're gonna click the loop button. Now, if you don't want it to loop, then don't click that button. Now then we're gonna press the origin button and that's gonna take us to our point A and get us ready for our movement. Once it's ready, the origin button will change to start. And then once you're ready, go ahead and press record on your camera and then press start here. And then now it's going to go and make the movement within three seconds. Boom, done. Now again, I can click on origin to bring it back to point A, or if I wanted to start at point B, it's already there, but I can click on that and then I can press start. And now it's gonna go the opposite direction. Now I'm gonna click on that again to make sure that we start at A, and then now I'm gonna press the loop button and we're gonna press start. And then now it's gonna go Again, three seconds each direction. And then now by itself, it's gonna go back. And this will continue indefinitely until I press the exit button here on the screen. Now with this slider, this is a two axis slider where it'll go the distance of the slider as well as the pan that you adjust as you select point A and B. It does not do the tilt. So if you do wanna make sure that you are tilting your camera at some level, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have a ball head that allows you to tilt. Once it's tilted, it's gonna stay locked in that angle. And again, you can move the pan axis. And really that's how simple it is to use for video. It's so easy to set up your point A and point B. It's honestly one of the best, most intuitive systems on the market. I really love it. And if you are interested in getting the iFootage Shark Slider Nano, I do have a link in the description where you can purchase it from either B&H Photo or Amazon. It doesn't change the price that you get it at, but it does help this channel. Please make sure to drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.